Hi guys, welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video and today is an exciting day because I'm finally fitting wheel spacers to my Land Rover. I've had these wheel spacers in the garage for a little while, they're from Tough Talk and they're 30mm wheel spacers to bring out the wheels to improve the stance of the Defender and not only that, improve the turning circle marginally too. I'm really excited to fit these, I've been banging on about them for ages and I've finally got round to doing or to fitting them so I can't wait to get the car jacked up and I'll show you the process of installing these onto your Land Rover. Now you can see here I'm armed with a whole manner of different breaker bars and sockets and wrenches and that's because these are going to be pretty tricky to get off they've been on there for a little while. Another thing to note if your Defender is running the standard uh, wheel nuts often these caps that actually go over the actual nut itself can swell over time and corrode which means that the standard socket size won't fit onto your Defender. I jumped onto Amazon and bought myself a 28mm socket which is just a little bit larger than the standard size and that means that getting these off will be much easier because it slips over the swollen nut. And I'll leave a link down below to where you can pick one of these up. They're super easy and they're going to make the job 10 times easier. The other thing I've done is gone round and added a little bit of penetrating fluid to all of the nuts around the car and left that to sit for a little while. Just be careful that you don't get it on any of the braking gear and if you do just use brake cleaner to remove it. This will make it a lot easier and hopefully free up some of the lock nuts. Right, so before I go jacking the car up, I find it easier to crack the nuts whilst the car is still on the ground. So I'm gonna go around and loosen off the first wheel's worth of nuts with the breaker bar, with the penetrating fluid, and hopefully they'll be able to come free relatively easily, and then we can jack the car up to then remove the wheel. Right, now we've got all five of those nuts cracked and slightly loosened off, I can now jack the car up and we can remove the wheel. Now the car's jacked up just by a tiny bit, I can now loosen off the rest of the nuts and remove the wheel, ready to fit the spacer. So now that the wheel's removed, I can clean up the hub. Uh, we don't want any dirt or grime getting in the way of the hub and the spacer. So I've got a few things. I've got uh, an attachment for my drill, which I can clean the wheel hub off with. I've also got a couple of brushes as well to get into the finer pieces. So we can clean that all off and then add a bit of brake cleaner over the top to clean the wheel. We can also do the back of the wheel too to ensure there's no grime gonna get in the way of the wheel and the spacer too. Now we've got the spacer ready to fit up. I'm gonna add a little bit of copper grease to the flat surface where it meets the hub so that it doesn't seize if I ever want to come and take these off at a later date. So just a little bit of copper grease will stop that from happening. Now the hub's mounted, or at least attached to the hub itself, I can now undo the bolts that it came with to reveal the studs that the wheel's going to mount on. And I can attach these to the studs in the holes. And we'll torque those up to the same torque settings as you would the normal car settings. Now when we go to tighten these up, we'll do them in a star shape to ensure that they're all tightened. So we'll go from here, down, across, in the star pattern. Again, with my torque wrench, so I know that I'm torquing them up to the right spec. So that's our spacer now mounted up, all torqued up in that star pattern. So we can now bring the wheel over, check the fitment, and then bolt the wheel to these new studs. So that's the wheel on now. The nuts are loosely torqued up. I'm gonna drop it down now and torque it up. 
I have made one mistake though, because I was in such a rush and I was so keen to see what it looked like with the spacers on, I've forgotten that I had black wheel nuts ready to replace the old wheel nuts. So I'm gonna talk it up anyway, drop it down, see what the fitment looks like. Then I'll jack it back up and replace them with the black wheel nuts and remember to do the same on the other three wheels. So let's drop it down, talk it up and see what it's looking like. So after completing that wheel with the silver wheel nuts, I've now gone and got the black wheel nuts that I intended to fit. So I'm gonna now swap those out and then we'll have a spaced wheel with the intended black wheel nuts, which I think will look really smart and set off the look and finally got rid of those silver wheel nuts that have been hanging on to for far too long. So let's go and do that. So that's a bit better. Black wheel nuts in keeping with the rest of the blackout look on the car. They look a lot better. So this is with the front wheel spaced, the back wheel I've not done yet, but you can see how much of a difference it makes, giving the car much more of a wider stance of filling the arch. Looks really cool, I know I've still got these kind of old school cross continental tyres on. I definitely want to swap for something more aggressive, but these look really neat. So that's the first wheel sorted. It took a little bit longer than expected because I obviously put the silver wheel nuts back on and wanted to replace them all with the black. So I'm gonna remember that as I go through the other three wheels. I'm gonna now go and do that, the same process applied all the way through the other wheels. For you, it'll be blink of an eye and we'll check back and we'll look at the full new stance of Scout with the wheel spacers on. all four wheels now spaced you can see they're definitely filling the arches now give it a more aggressive stance i think it's particularly noticeable on the back too just looks really cool if we come to this side too again you can see the spacers just bringing the wheels out make it look more aggressive obviously at some point needs some slightly slightly more aggressive tires as well but i think they look really good you can see just how much they bring the uh, bring the wheel out. They look really cool. There you have it guys, they are the wheel spacers all fitted up. I think they look much more aggressive. They give Scout that wider stance and I'm sure when I combine those with a more aggressive wheel tread, they'll look really great. Also the black wheel nuts, something again, which I wanted to swap out for so long. I'm glad I finally got round to doing that. I'll leave a link down below for all of the products that I've used in today's video. I'll be back next week with either another modification for Scout or something else for the new project. So I'll see you then.